Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. I am Starco Gaming and we are back with another Marvel Future Fight video. Guys, we all know that July is coming. Door is getting a new update and most likely a tier 4 with that update. So I guess today it's time to get into tier 3. And uh, I mean, to switch our work to Jane Thor after that, guys. But today, in this video, guys, we're going to be getting my boy Thor to tier 3 with his basic his basic look. That's actually going to be pretty funny to do, guys. But anyway, uh, let's jump into my tier 2 characters. I think he's already level 62, I believe so. Yes, he is. So you can see here, guys, we literally have no uniform for him. We have his basic look no uniform on we were waiting for his new s uniform obviously but uh yes today that's what we're going to be doing guys we're going to try to get him to tier three and um i mean in the future we're going to be able to finish him up so uh, let's get started here we're going to use uh Northstone chaos as much as possible to get his potential up maybe a little bit of uh, ccf if we need to uh that's pretty much the plan here uh, we're going to save his biometrics for when we get him to level 80 because it's less expensive to use the own characters, uh, the same characters, Biometrix, obviously. So we're just going to use other worthless Biometrix to get him to level 70 and to advance him, obviously, to the T3, guys. So let's go with that again. Might have enough Normstorm. I think we do have a shot at it. I guess we're going to see in a minute or less. I don't know how long it's going to take to get at least, you know, level... 70 here. I think we might be missing a little bit of norm storms. I mean, we don't really norms need norm storm to tier tree, so maybe we're gonna see what we have here. Um, Nova, give me your biometrix. You're the wrong one that got uh, you're not the one that actually got an advancement to uh, awaken, bro. And let's see if we have enough here. We do have enough, so that's actually, actually perfect. No CCF use. We save them for when we do a tier four advancement, obviously. And now we just need to do one more level up here. Uh, we can use that. Here we go. Now it's going to be a level 70 and extra 60 crystal, which is always welcome to the account. By the way, guys, uh, in a few days, we're going to be pulling for uh, premium cards. We're going to be pulling a shit ton of crystal, guys. Oh, well, hopefully, I'm just waiting for uh, my star creator crystal to kick in. She'll be over 10,000 crystal when do so. We need to pull for premium cards uh, to try to get my all new Avenger cards uh, with six blue stars. So make sure you keep an eye on the channel for that guys and uh, next uh we do have to do a skills for tier three. do we actually have to do skills for tier three i never actually check i guess today is going to be the day we're going to wait and see now first we're going to get is a uh, gear up here let's see if we can get trash by rng or not we're starting with 4264 here this is not looking good so far this was wow almost probably around 2000 here yeah, we started with 43 to 42, so uh, about 1.2k for the first gear in BAMS. That was very, very expensive, guys. Hopefully, uh, one of the next gears is going to be a little bit cheaper uh, because that is a lot of BAMS. Okay, so that that one was a lot cheaper. So this one just made it that it's going to be sure we can actually get this guy to uh, tier 3 today. So that's actually perfect. I was just hoping to not get trash by RNG. I have a little bit of leftover so we can actually start working on Jane Tour in not too long, guys. At least that's the objective because uh, July is coming, guys. One month away uh, from the, um, you know, Love Tour movie, Love and Thunder movie. Wow, I could not remember the name of the movie, guys. Sorry. But yes, that's coming soon. So we want to get those two characters ready. At least we have Valkyrie ready. We have Sif ready if Sif gets a uniform. Valkyrie is most likely going to get a uniform. So at least these are ready. Uh, Star-Lord, if he actually gets a uniform again, he is ready. So at least we have most of those characters ready, except Thor and Jane. But, I mean, this dude is going to be done now. Now, if we, we actually don't need to get his skills up to get him to tier 3. That is so weird since we have to do it for tier 4. So weird, guys. But anyway, guys, let's see uh, what we're going to see here. I mean, the tier 3 animation... Without uniform, I bet that's going to be weird. I mean, he looks so, so freaking ugly with that old look, man. I mean, they they were not, their heart team was not as advanced as today, obviously. So, 
that's for that okay next guys uh we are going to be doing a little bit more work on this guy because we want him to kind of be ready for when we actually get um the update so first thing we're going to try to reroll his little set no we're going to go with the skills let's get these skills up guys get started Ah, that's we're gonna need to do too as soon as this guy is to, is to see if he can actually clear shell and floor past 35. Uh, I mean, without uniform. That's actually gonna be interesting to do. Now he's actually gonna have his tier 3 skills probably because of his tier 3 skills she'll be able to do so. But, I mean, there's a chance that he can't, obviously. It is still a possibility. And then from type here, uh, we're gonna see how, how we can actually get this one. I'm gonna use Mega uh, Type 4 here. We do have enough mats to attempt type 5. We did succeed at it. And do we have enough mats for type 6? No, we don't, but we do have a ticket. We use it on him because, I mean, we're going to get a uniform, most likely a tier 4 for him. If we don't get a tier 4, it's not the end of the world, obviously. Uh, he's still going to have a solid build. We're not going to grab that energy yet. I was just wanted to check what was it here. Uh, next, guys, he's all set. Okay, so set bonus. Auto change any offensive Izo set is gonna be be doing the job here. We don't need those stats. Let's hope that it's not gonna take forever uh, for today's video. Let's adjust the mic a little bit, guys. Sorry about that, but yeah, had to adjust it real fast. So hopefully, it's not gonna take 20 minutes for this video. Sometimes it can be very, very long to roll a uh, attack Izo set. So hopefully, today is not gonna be the case. After that, guys, what we're gonna be doing is we're going to put as much uh, and you know we can use as we can but after that we're going to jump into the euro uh, we're going to try to amplify each gear to four slots amplify and then we're going to drop all the euro we have available at the moment and that that's going to give us a huge head start on this dude uh, to get started for when you get you know is is advanced man uh, well or just his uniform whatever it gets uh with the love and thunder movie is going to get something guys so we just want to be ready for him so because he's he's probably going to be very strong with his Lewis uniform his last uniform was pretty solid and you know every new uniform is supposed to be stronger so we have big expectation for this dude i also have big expectation to roll a offensive visual set which uh, does not look like it's gonna be a thing but i'm really hoping that this is the guy that's gonna be getting a tier 4 by the way guys i think it will be awesome for him because uh, Tor haven't been in meta for a very long time uh, and he, he deserved a lot. He, he's supposed to be the strongest Avenger, at least uh, that's all he likes to call himself. So uh, that will be really nice to get that auto. I still think that Hulk is better than him, but that's, that's, just, that's just my opinion, guys. Anyway, still trying to roll that offensive little set. I actually need to, to, to skip so we actually get it. Uh, because this is starting to take forever <laughs> in this video, guys. We're going to give it a couple more rounds. Then if uh, we're not getting it by by then, we're just going to, you know, skip a, a little bit ahead in the video. So let's see if we get it in this round or not. If we don't, well, we, you, know, we, you guys are going to see it in a sec anyway. So I actually took over 190 rolls, 19 times to do a repeat here, guys. I actually get power up Angry Oak. It was about time, though. Uh, it was about time because, uh, I mean, my gold is taking it here. So we're going to start by equipping, uh, you know, Ezo's here first. We cannot put an Amplify here because we have known. Here we have all attack fully Amplify. So that's going to go here. In the blue one here, we have another fully amplified. That is nice. We are saving a lot of six stars. Uh, easel boost, that's for sure here. No amplify, so I'm gonna go with this one. Yellow, no amplify. Damn, that's a killer one. And then I need three of those. Uh, if we have energy attack, we're gonna put the energy attack here because, uh, I mean, we have a lot of those, apparently. A lot more than I thought. Then in case we run him with the uh, rage, we're gonna put some dodge too, and I put us uh, put us as set bonus stage seven in effect for now. I guess that's not so bad. Uh, last thing we're gonna do here, guys, is simplify uh, euro and equip some euro. So let's try to get four slots as fast as possible. There we go. The first gear was actually pretty simple. He's singing gear. 
was very fast. Well, they screw me on uh, Izo, but maybe they'll be nice to me on the hero. So far, they are very nice to me. One more to go. I don't even know if I got the hero to actually equip on this guy for now, but I guess we're going to see in a minute, guys. Okay, does my RNG lock run out here? Maybe. Maybe I ran out because... Oh, no. No, no. It's still pretty fast. So let's see if we have... We have one energy attack. Wow. Wow. Oh, but we do have a bunch here. Let's see if we can actually make a bunch. At least five stars will be a great start here. Well, usually I don't like to combine hero when it's not, uh, you know, golds off on it. But, I mean, we want to put some hero on this guy. Get his rank up a little bit. Maybe we're going to get lucky with some six stars too. I never know. Although I don't think I have enough, you know, three stars to make a bunch of six stars here. I think five stars is going to be pretty lucky to get some, to get them all. With the RNG we usually get here. Okay, now we have a bunch of four stars, energy attack. Convert all of them into five stars and we are going to stay there. See, we're barely going to make it. So definitely no six stars here. But that's a start. That's a start. It's better than my Iron Man, that's for sure. So we got one six stars we're going to equip right away. And then the rest is going to be five stars. At least we'll get a few. So that's going to be good for a little bit of time. But I definitely get, need to get more of those. Whoops. Wrong button. I press cancel instead of equip here. Definitely not the button we want to press on. And we have four more to equip here. Trying to put them on the proper slots. And then after that, we're going to check his stats, where he is at the, at the moment. See if we can actually fix a little bit with the fourth gear option. And then that's going to be our final looks to see what he's going to be doing. Uh, what he's going to be looking it like. Looking like. Wow. My English is... It's terrible since I'm back to French land, guys. And uh, until we actually get his uniform and we know what we have to go for. So let's take a quick look at the stats here. Stats, we need cooldown. Okay, so that's 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 the stats we're going to go get here. Instead of a curve rate, obviously, cooldown is much better. So let's do this here. Or at least try to do this. There we go. We'll get the cooldown. Probably not going to be capped yet, but it's going to be very close. 47% once he gets a uniform. He's definitely going to be capped. We could always put a cooldown, but not for now. Because once he gets his uniform, pretty much, uh, if we have one of the bonus uniform that covered the cooldown, well, that's pretty much wasted, uh, you know, you're at this point. So it looks like we're done preparing him for his update, guys. So the stats are here. Almost max cooldown, maxing or defense. Critical damage is at 162%. Uh, definitely, uh, if it stay like that, we're going to need to put Yuru with critical damage. Critical rate, 69%. Attack speed maxed out. And only 32,519 energy attack. That one is... Very disappointing for the energy attack of a tier 3 characters, consider that the amount of we get nowadays on characters. But anyway, guys, we advance towards a tier 3. We are waiting for his uniform. Hopefully, we're going to get tier 4 for him, or at least a level 80. I don't know. We're going to have to wait for the update, guys, in July. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think of those videos where we build up characters like that. I really like to do that in the videos. But it is up to you guys. If you guys like that, let me know in the comment section, guys. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for being part of my amazing community. You all keep enjoying playing Marvel Future Fight. And I will see you guys again in the next video. Thank you.